Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna do the ignition timing on the H22 Prelude. Now, this is something you gotta do if you mess with the distributor on the H22. Ignition timing is basically at what point the spark plug goes off. Um, the distributor has adjustment. If you undo these two bolts right here, you can turn it to re uh, retard or advance it. And in order to complete this, you would need a timing light, which is what I got right here. Timing light. But before we get into doing that, I want to reseal my valve cover. So a couple of the nuts were stripped and I also didn't use any um, Honda Bond on it. I looked in the, in the service manual and it said that you're supposed to use Honda Bond in some of the corners. So I'm just gonna put some in all the corners and also uh, replace some of the nuts that were stripped out. I got some new ones. And also while I got the valve cover off, I wanted to check my timing one more time. Since the valve cover is gonna be off, I might as well just check it real quick when I pulled the head off. So all that's brand new. And I just wanna check it one more time to make sure everything is still good. So let's go ahead and pull this uh, valve cover off. Okay. Okay, so I got the engine spent over to the top dead center. And if y'all look at the cam gears right here, so you can see an up arrow right here, and the up arrow on the intake side right here facing straight up. And it's also two lines. It might be really hard to see, but it's two lines right here that are literally parallel to each other. Like they are they line up with each other. And then if you look at the inspection hole, normally you will have a, a a boot right here in this hole. It might be super hard to see, but I'm trying for y'all. <laughs> if you look inside, you will see a cross up in there, and it's going to line up with that little gun sight right there. So we are definitely in time. So I'm going to go ahead and slap the valve cover back on, and we can work on that ignition timing with the engine. Okay, so I got everything back together. Now it's time to do ignition timing. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go inside the car. And if you ever checked your, um, this is for OBD1 preludes. If you ever checked your uh, check engine light, you will notice the service connector right behind the uh, center console. What you wanna do is jump that off. I just use a paper clip, clip. I stick that up in there. It's a blue and white wire and a, I believe that's brown and white. You can honestly reach behind here. You don't even gotta get under here. You can reach behind here and you will feel one clip. That's for another plug. And then it's the second one. And that'll be this one. It's literally like maybe three inches to the right of this plastic cover. Um, if need be, you can uh, go under here and look, but uh, I can just feel it now. I've done it so many times I can feel it. And you pull that out and jump that off. Why you want to do that is it'll stop the ECU from doing any um, timing corrections of its own. And it'll allow you to set your ignition timing with the timing light. So now let's get under the hood. Okay, so I already got the timing light hooked up um, off camera, but I'm going to show you all how to do it. So you should have two power leads and then a spark plug lead. So you want to hook the power leads, positive and negative, straight up to the battery. Should make the light come on. And then you want to take the spark plug lead and hook it up to cylinder number one, which is closest to the timing belt. Um, you wanna try to get the plug as close to the um, like the black part right here as much as possible. And you also wanna make sure it says plug right here with an arrow. Make sure that's uh, facing the direction of the plug, which is how we got it set up. Um, now, a lot of people say you wanna warm the car up before you um, hook the time light up. I don't understand why. <laughs> so I, um, 
just hooked it up and then I'm going to have to let the car warm completely up all the way before you do any type of timing stuff. Um, people might say to hook it up after uh, warming the engine up, that way that the light doesn't flash all the time, but this, uh, this light has the ability to turn it off. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm doing it this way. That way all I gotta do is just let it warm up and I can just sit here and let it warm up and then once it's ready, it's ready to go. I don't have to shut it down, nothing. We could just go ahead and do timing and get this done. So I'm gonna start it up and let it warm up and we go from there. I haven't started this car in a while, so it might be a little rough, but let's see. Turn the heat off, straighten the wheel out. Let's fire it up. Not bad, not bad at all. So now we're just gonna let the car warm up. Um, they say just to warm it up to, until the fans come on. Um, I'm gonna just let it warm up to the temperature halfway and then we'll go ahead and uh, do the timing. Okay, so the engine's all warmed up. Um, I actually set it off camera because I knew it was gonna be hard to see. But um, depending on what lights you got, you'll wanna set it to the correct uh, ignition timing which is I believe 15 to 16 degrees on these H22s um, and then I got it I lined it up and I basically just moved this distributor like I said earlier in the video you want to undo these just a little bit so you can turn it and you want to basically line up the cross here with the it's like a little line on the flywheel um, line that up and then once you get that set you want to hit it to go to zero and then check it one more time and the line should line up literally with the crosshair right there. Like I say, it's really hard to see on camera, but that's why I end up just doing it off camera. Also, one thing to note, if your idle is high or like like surges or whatever, uh, you can't do it. You have to correct that before you want to uh, set your ignition timing. And once you get that corrected, then you should be able to set it no problem. Again, it's a line right on the flywheel that you want to line up with the crosshairs. Um, that means 15 degrees uh, ignition timing. I got that set, so now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the distributor and uh, test it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull it outside. <laughs> I don't even know if I drove this car on camera yet. I'm not sure. It's too loud. And that's with the resonator on and everything. Ah, oh, fuck it. Get here first. <laughs> now, yeah, she feels good, like, for real. It's still some stuff I gotta, like, I gotta dial in. But for the most part, <laughs> I feel like it's ready to go, you know, I feel like it's ready to go on the road, so I still got to get plates. <laughs> that's why we just went around the block. Um, that's going to be the next thing, to get plates. It's still some little minor stuff I got to do, um, like a little electrical light stuff, but other than that, 
I feel like the car is ready to to be driven, ready to, you know, be my daily for a little bit. That's the goal. I wanna take the car and I wanna daily it for a couple weeks just to make sure I could check everything out, make sure everything's good. But right now, like, it literally feels great. Like, you heard it tripping tires. It got into VTEC. It's backfiring. This shit's so sick. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, maybe I taught y'all something. I'm not a mechanic. This is my first time actually doing this. So I hope y'all learned something. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate y'all watching. Project Prelude out.